So, three races at Carlisle to end the week for me then. And the first one is a 4 mile 0 to 100. At the top, we've got Hellas for Stu Gray, Victory Heights, David Hooley, Sharon Al Phantom, Thomas Rogers, Plyne Lukey, Martin Little, Inflation Stamp, Stu Gray, Shipboard, Majestic, Ben Benici, Commonly Faithful, Paul Rhodes, Raging Storm, Craig Beckwith, Ringaruma Page, and Blanche Neige for Alex Cherry, Zinc for Kevin Meenahan, and Lakota Ghost for Obi Wan. So. Hunter in all but name this end, 0 to 100 chase, and away they go. And make a short run to the first, and they're all safely over it with the Lakota Ghost, the last one to land, but Zinc, who I'm pretty sure ran in the Grand National a couple of seasons ago, is in front with Kumoi Faithful on its inside second, and a gap back to Shamanal Phantom in third. The Stu Great Pair Inflation Stamp and Hellas are both close up. Plyme Lukey is behind them in the maroon jacket on the rail, just getting a little bit closer. And towards the back, Raging Storm is now the back marker, but they've got 23 fences to take in all in this one, and this is the second of them. It's the first ditch, and they're all safely over it. And we've come all ye faithful now in the lead. Leading by about three quarters of a length to Zinc, the first of the two greys in the race in second as they get to the third and there was, was a four at the back there shipboard majestic has gone so uh, ben bonici's horse is out and i think it'd be fairly safe to say that ben bonici will be working on his jumping in the close season because he's had quite a lot of fallers in the jumps this season as they get over the next and alex cherry's horse nearly went there as well i think it was ringaruma page that made the mistake but it's come all ye faithful. That's in the lead by about a head from Zinc in second. And then a gap back to Inflation Stamp in third. Then a bigger gap back to Stu Gray's second horse, Hellas, which is the second of the Greys. Plant Luke is on its inside. Then Blanche Nesh is on the outside of that one with Victory Heights and Ringer Rua Page. As they make their way towards the next. That's the winning post. I think they've got two more circuits to go. This Carlisle track. And Zinc has now just about put its head in front. Come all you faithful on the inside, though, will probably regain the lead on the turn due to being on the rail. With inflation stamp about two or three lengths back in third, and then a four length gap to Plyne Lukey and Hellas. And Blanche Nege on the outside, Victory Heights on that one's inside. And Ringer Rumor Page with Raging Storm and Shamadal Phantom. And finally, Lakota Ghost. The yellow jacket on the inside is just about the back marker. Come all you faithful. Holding along in the lead. Not about a neck to Zinc in second. Long, long way to go yet, though. Inflation stamp third, then Plyne Lukey is back in fourth. To the sixth. Also, if the other one still lost just the one. Some of these will probably be entry bound in a few weeks. Because I'm pretty sure Zinc ran in the race a few years ago. Once they get over the next, and Shaman Al Phantom is also one that regularly, I think, races in that big race. And he's come all you faithful in front from Zinc second, and Inflation Stamp third, and Implied Lukey four. And that is five on in Victory Heights and Ringer Rumor Pages. They get over number eight with Plyne Lukey jumping up into third. And maybe a slightly doubtful stay at that one as they get to this ditch. And they get over it nicely with Shaman Al Phantom still just the back marker. Call you faithful is kicked on then by two as they get over number ten. Which they all stream over nicely. And begin to swing right handed again now yeah. this leading pair still clear it's been clearing together throughout the race so far come all you faithful in the blue with the white sleeves this is the first season that Paul Rhodes has had those silks and Kevin Meenahan Zinc is in second as they get to this ditch Blind Luke has jumped up into third with the inflation stamp now four then Victory Heights and Blanche Nez, Dakota Ghost is getting significantly closer as Hellas drops back, then Raging Storm and Ring Aruma Page and Shamadal Phantom, but they're all close enough to be involved in this as there's still the best part of two miles to travel. And Come All Ye Faithful and Zinc 
four went off on Klein Luke in inflation stamp. And Blanche Neige and Victory Heights as they get to the next. Klein Luke a little bit slow. Shaman Al Phantom's gone past Ring of Room at Page, he's just giving a bit of a breather. The fences come up thick and fast in this one, and they get to the next. They'll stream over that one nicely. Yeah, race it up the straight here at Carlisle. And then they'll be going out for one more circuit shortly. Looks like we might get some interesting shots. I don't really see a lot there because the rail's in the way. <laughs> it's come all youth faithful in front from the zinc in second. And then Plyne Lukey back in third, Inflation Stamp is fourth, as they pass the winning post then with one more circuit to go. And Come All You Faithful takes them out on this final circuit with a lead of half a length to Zinc in second. Plyne Lukey is five lengths back in third, then Inflation Stamp is four, Blanche Nedge is five, and then Raging Storm and Victory Heights gap for a couple of lengths then back to Lakota Ghost, Shaman Al Phantom, and Hellas, three in a line, and then two lengths adrift at the back. Ring a rumour page, but no more than 20 lengths off the leader. And Come All You Faithful is that leader and leads by three three quarters of a length to Zinc in second. Then comes Plyne Lukey going well in third, Inflation Stamp going quietly on the inside in fourth. Then Blanche Neige, Victory Heights, the one that's creeping closer around the outside is Raging Storm. Also Shamadal Phantom is starting to work its way through the pack nicely as well as they race down towards the next. This is the longest run between fences on the course and come all ye faithful and Zinc continue to show the way to the rest of them over headed by Plyne Lukey. But come all ye faithful on the inside, Zinc the Grey closest to us as they get to it. Over that one they pop. Blind Luke over it nicely in third. They all jumped it well and they're all starting to make their moves now as they come towards the final mile and it's come all ye faithful who's in the lead. At the next from Zinc in second. Blind Luke jumped it really well in third and is now making a move to join that leading pair. They've had it pretty much all their own way so far those the front two. It's looking like the rest of them are starting to close as they skip over number 17. And Zinc and Come All Ye Faithful from Plyne Lukey in third. Shaman Al Phantom looks a big danger and moves through into fourth. Raging Storm is still there. Then Blanche Nish over that ditch. There you go. And Zinc has now gone on by length. Come All Ye Faithful just giving it a bit of a breather on the inside. Plyne Lukey appears to be cruising in third as they skip over the 19th. And now Plyne Lukey goes past Come All Ye Faithful on that leading pair. Have been broken up for the first time. But it's Zinc in the lead. Look at this. Hellas the second grade suddenly got into overdrive around the outside and that, that looks a big danger as well but it's still Zinc in the lead Zinc in the lead with four to jump from Plyne Lukey in second then Hellas come all ye faithful is back in fourth the second of the two great horses inflation stamp is now being pulled out for a run Shaman Al Phantom and Victory Heights are still there as well they're racing down towards the fourth last over that ditch they go and it's Hellas in the lead from Plyne Lukey in second then comes Zinc inflation stamp is back in fourth then comes Victory Heights and come all ye faithful is now beating Shaman Al Phantom trying to run on so too Raging Storm they've got three to jump over the third last Plyne Lukey landed in front Plyne Lukey from Hellas in second Zinc is back in third then comes the Inflation Stamp and Victory Heights Raging Storm is still running on they've still got two and a half furlongs to go and they've still got two to jump it's Plyne Lukey and Hellas from Zinc in third over the second last Plyne Lukey landed in the lead Hellas over it in second then comes Zinc who's now running on again Raging Storm throw down a big chance on the outside Victory Heights trying to get into it they've got a furlong and a half to go. They've got one more fence to take. And Plyne Lukey takes it in the lead. Gets over it nicely. Zinc is trying to fight back. It's Plyne Lukey in the lead. Furlong to go. Plyne Lukey from Zinc in second. Raging Storm is trying to close. Plyne Lukey just holding on. He needs a line. Plyne Lukey's in the lead from Zinc. Inside the final half furlong is Plyne Lukey. Zinc is getting closer. Raging Storm is closing. But up towards the line is Plyne Lukey. He's just got to hang on and take it. Wins three seasons in a row. Plyne Lukey takes it. Zinc second. Raging Storm. He's third and Ring a Rumor Page was a faller at the last and Plyne Lukey has now managed to get a win in three successive SO7 seasons. They might be in the lowest grade races, but he keeps popping up with at least one win a season. And that might just get him a place at the bottom end of the weights in the national. But Zinc was second, Raging Storm third, so Plyne Lukey takes it for Martin Lidham. Zinc was second for Kevin Meenahan, Raging Storm for Greg Beckwith was third, Shamanal Phantom, Thomas Rogers fourth, and Blanche Neige for Alex Cherry was fifth.